Whenever I see dynamine in any sort of blend, I'm always more excited that it's in there. I'm actually happy that it's in there. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little re-review on this Dynamine. I mean, technically I did do a review on Dynamine, but it was the non-tasteless version. I think Dynamine is actually created by a company called Compound Solutions. They're the people who like trademarked it and patented it. This actual packet came from Bulk Stimulants. Dynamine has always been a supplement that I've really, really enjoyed. If you've heard of Teacrine or if you've tried Teacrine, it's very, very similar to this. Very similar in taste. I think it's supposed to work on the caffeine receptors the same as Teacrine, so it's very similar similar stuff like um, amp citrate dmaa dmha they don't work on the caffeine receptors so this teacrine and caffeine they're all kind of in the same realm to a certain extent caffeine actually is not that bitter at all so it's not that bad tasting this actually was really bad tasting at one point same with teacrine it was one of the worst tasting supplements i'd ever tried but now they came out with the tasteless version so it's really not a hundred percent tasteless but it's so much better than it was before you almost need this tasteless variant maybe we can get even more tasteless in in the future that would be nice so anyways like caffeine works on the adenosine receptor it basically blocks adenosine or adenosine whatever you want to call it adenosine basically makes you tired you kind of get this backdoor dopamine action by taking this versus something like dma dmha amp citrate that's kind of closer just to direct dopamine release this one's going to basically stop something in your body that's going to make you tired and then your body's also going to release some dopamine just because this is basically like short acting caffeine but in and out of your your system really quick to cream there's no jitters there's no crash and it is anti-inflammatory too so all those things i don't really think any stimulant that i know of is anti-inflammatory so that was also really good i feel like this contains a lot of the same similarities as tea cream but i don't know for sure it has that familiar familiar taste let's jump into the pros of the supplement the pros of the supplement is number one the tasteless formula i always like dynamine but again one of the biggest pawns was that it had such really, really bad taste. Same with tea cream. You almost need to put it in a capsule. The fact that they made it tasteless or almost tasteless, it really is a huge pro to me. Another pro is that it's milder than caffeine. If caffeine lasts a little too long, this is going to be probably a little bit milder. It's going to be in and out of your system a little bit faster as well. You could also take this closer to bedtime. If I really wanted to have a little pick-me-up, a little caffeine-like feeling, but it was later in the day, I would definitely go with Dynamine or Area Gerenesis. But to be honest, Dynamine it's a very very solid combo it's in out very quick it's really good to add to any blend it's a very exotic supplement almost every situation it's nice to throw in a little bit of dynamine if you use any sort of supplement any sort of stimulant you could toss this in and kind of rebalance yourself or have like an extra feeling or effect to go on along with your normal stack it's just a very nice addition to throw on to a lot of stuff one of the supplements i really really like genius consciousness has this in there so i've been actually taking this a lot because i've gone through about three tubs of genius consciousness so far cons is that it is short acting the short acting thing can be good if it's later in the day and you want something to take out the end of the day that's good but for most of the time i find that caffeine already comes on really quick and leaves really quick so this comes on faster and leaves faster they say that one of the pros of this supplement is that you're going to feel it before you're going to feel caffeine to be honest i feel caffeine really quick i start to feel it almost as soon as i'm drinking it and i feel it really really strong maybe 30 40 minutes right after but i, I begin to feel it almost Almost as I'm drinking it. I don't really need it to be any faster than this. It is nice having that exotic feeling, but for me, I like energy that lasts a long time. If something's gonna come in and come out, it gets me more of like an up down roller coaster kind of effect. The only other con is that it's not 100% tasteless. Usually I go with about a half scoop in a drink and I don't taste anything at all. If you go full scoop, you're probably gonna taste something. You could always capsule it as well, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. It still has a little bit of a taste. I just wanna put that in there. So that's pretty much the only con. So this is a very good supplement. This is a supplement that whenever I see dynamine in any sort of blend, I'm always more excited that it's in there. I'm actually happy that it's in there. It just feels like you're going to get a little bit of a unique feeling versus anything else. And it's going to provide its own different effect. And it's going to be a little bit more well balanced with it in there. So I always like to see dynamine in a supplement. However, this and teacrine are pretty much this have the same amount of taste. And I just really, really like teacrine. I would have to say that I would personally edge teacrine to this a little bit more. To be honest, guys, when I 
take teacreen it takes about two hours to fully fully hit it lasts about six to eight hours it's just really nice it's really even there's no crash there's no up down if you take a bunch of this you're gonna go up really quick and go down really quick which is good for the right time and it's not really that an intensive an up and down but for me personally i kind of want to take something and then get into my day and kind of just forget about taking anything else to wake me up because i don't need it so that's why i prefer tea cream but again guys if this was in any supplement i would be more happy and more interested and probably rate that supplement as having a pro by having this in there because i do enjoy the exoticness to it let me know what you think of dynamine let me know what you think of tea cream let me know what your favorite bulk stimulant is down below they have so many different kinds how to be honest my favorites with bulk stimulants always kind of change as soon as i seem to like one i end up switching to another one so it's just really nice to have all these different options really really appreciate you bulk stimulants personally I would go with tea cream, but this is not bad and I still will take it and I get happy when it is in the supplements. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers now because we just hit 25,000. Thank you guys so, so much. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.